Hey everyone, I'm Dark Quarter and welcome back to Life is Strange. Chapter 2 Out of Time. So, last time we played the end of Chapter 1 Chrysalis, and through another vision, Max found out that the tornado, as she calls it, will hit the town in four days. I think it's a hurricane, Max, because it's over water. Dirty work. I need to shower. I know you're very dirty. Let me talk to people, okay? Then I'll make it clean, okay? Deal? Okay. So, the tornado slash hurricane thing is gonna hit the town in four days, and I don't know how we're gonna stop it, but apparently, we're, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna evacuate the whole town. Who knows? But anyway, Max just woke up. As you can see. And she's on her way to the shower, but I want to see if I can investigate stuff on the way, of course. So let's go in. Fine, I won't disturb you. Uh, she can't talk to her best friend, Victoria, now. Nothing on the board? Probably not. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Nope. Nothing new. Oh, come on, guys. You gotta be better than that. Kate is an early bird. She might be Who's up that? and gone. Somebody just said ow. They live. Do they? Have you seen that? I think I'll be way too scared to go. Oh, come on. It won't be that scary, Max. I'll be there. I'll protect you, Max. If I help Alyssa, I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. Okay. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Okay. Why? I thought we were friends, dude. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Oh, there was a... Okay. What is this? You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry. Wait a minute. Did I not? Oh, I didn't stop it, I guess. Oh, she was the one, I guess, that got hit? What is that? Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Second time. The victim of an unwitting attack, apparently. The heck? What is with people throwing random stuff and hitting her in the head? Okay, so that's either raced still. Now maybe she'll be talkative. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Possibly. Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Hmm. Let's see. I love the idea of going back in time to fix mistakes in Groundhog Day. That's because you do it in real life. I barely want to go forward in time, much less go backward. I hear you, but it's all about the choices you make now. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you need. What, no consequences for that? Hmm. Why is... Why are people throwing paper, uh, toilet paper out of the loo? 
Nice atmospheric shot. It needs dusting. Yes, you said that before. Juliet. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. Oh, really? Well, she could have a clone. You never know. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? What? Huh? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What video, though? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you uh, later. What's with that? Can I... Excuse me. I'm texting Zach. Okay, so I can't do any more dialogue options. That sucks. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. I should have rewound and somehow got her drone thing. You look distracted. Know. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Okay. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Probably. Yeah, stuff didn't change. Let's look at the map. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. Some stuff. Okay. Clearly not a morning person. Is that so? Somebody has music on though. I'd love to make a photo collage of every Which I'm probably gonna get flagged for. Season. Thanks, game. Oh, it's um I see. Dana. She's certainly Never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. She's certainly excitable today. Different from yesterday. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Hmm. Sure, I mean... You're still in high school, technically, so, I mean... This is a time to try Why different things. Not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. You gotta try new things, Max. Get out of your comfort zone. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. At least that's what I hear you're supposed mm -hmm. to do. I don't do it myself, but... Curiosity killed the Max. 
Yeah, I don't want to snoop in her stuff while she's there. Rollerblades. Even though I'm... Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Well, I'm not necessarily snooping. I'm just kind of looking at stuff that's already there. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Uh, most likely. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Oh, why would they? This is both sad and pathetic. I read that. I don't know exactly what the money thing's about still, but... Okay. Let's see. Well, I guess it's time to actually go take a shower. I know. It's gonna be boring. But don't worry, people. I'll protect you. Oh, there's Kate. Let's go talk to Kate. How's she doing today? Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Get off her crack? Okay, I never actually heard that term before. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Yeah, I saved her. I mean, why should she... Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Sure. Why not? Poster. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. All right. Fuck you. Okay, I don't believe that, but right. I'm good to flow. Thanks. I have no idea what you're talking about. Good to f one of those laxatives, or oh, okay. I didn't actually see. Water power. I'm so not there. Didn't actually see what the container dispenser thing was. Well then. Out of order, no. Out of order. How am I going to take a shower now? I wonder if I could rewind and still be clean and dirty at the same time. Style. I've actually taken a shower, but then I rewind, and then I'll have not taken a shower. That would be an interesting state to be in, wouldn't it? it takes a long time to brush your teeth, doesn't she? What's up, Kate? Oh, great. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. What Victoria, video? Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. What is that about? I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup. No. I spilled goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. I thought we were friends, Victoria. I comforted you. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I don't understand. <laughs> I 
don't understand that mentality. Why be mean? To help you dry it off before putting your pajamas back on. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Because... I don't know. Hello? We're just... We're just Sorry. I forgot. We're just taking a shower. You don't look very wet, Max. So it must have super dried off then. Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Should I rewind? I mean, it doesn't say there's going to be consequences. Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Why be a mean person? Doesn't help anybody. Okay, so now I have to get the book, I guess. Pretty much talk to everybody I could. I need to get dressed before I go there. Oh, okay. You're still in pajamas, right? You must get dressed. What the heck? No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? How did Warren get in there? After I find Kate's book. Wait a minute. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. What is going on here? Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Yeah, well, I had to. He brought a gun to school. Am I supposed to know that nothing was going to happen with it? Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Is that so? No book here. Where is the book? Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Right. Be gone, foul soft drink. Okay, I guess that fixed it. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. I Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I cut you off, Max. Thumb, but I have a green finger. Can I do Warren something else on here? Up my inbox now. This is so in this way, and I thought I was into Halloween. No. Dana is not messing around here. Can't really do anything. I looked at all that stuff. Yep. Mm. Life is not going so well so far. I'm right at the end of the girl's dorm, though. How the heck did he get over here and get out without. Let me guess, that's Warren. the heck Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats. It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. No brook here. 
Mm. Nope. Fine, I won't disturb you. Just Kate? knock on everybody's doors. You in there? Yes, I'm here. I'm in that. What is this? Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Okay then. Nice. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. That kind of sucks. Clock. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Really? The room is all dark. Candles, okay. Kate really has a doting father. All right. idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Huh. That's interesting. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Right. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Oh, this is one of the pictures I have to take. That hopefully that camera doesn't break. It's the only one I have now. Ouch. She left out amnation. The spirit of the could have prepared me for what you've done in that videotape. You're like you laid your harlot just re released your harlot image before Godzilla. Okay. He's everybody's talking about that video, and she says it's not her. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. What the heck is that video about? Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Okay. Something's definitely up. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. What is going on? Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Well... Okay. I don't really want to say anything about that. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Yay, zombies. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Yeah. Kate, what's going on? Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. That's her sister's, right? Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Tell me uh, what's going on, Kate. Hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Um, well, I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Okay. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party 
and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Hmm. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... That's the only possibility. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Oh, Nathan Prescott. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Oh, that's not good. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... What? And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next That's day. I didn't have any marks up. or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, mm. Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral yeah. video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Just rewind Thanks, back Max. to when it was you taken. You can put my book here near my bag. That's definitely messed up. Why do people do that stuff, man? What's the point? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. There's no he way he would help Should you. Should I go to the police? If you're going to go to the police, you do need proof. So I would say look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. There's nothing you can do about a viral video. If it's already spreading, I mean, it's out there. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yeah, you do. You absolutely need proof. You can't just go to the police and say... This stuff happened. I mean... Their side is documented. Yours isn't. I could just say what she wanted to hear, but... Won't be the truth. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go to breakfast. Totally forgot. Uh, lots of drama going on. I should try to help her. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Why not? Right there. It's on your schedule. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. 
Is that so? He's clearly not a morning person. What is this? Samuel. Oh. I was trying to look in the basket. It's too close to the door, so it made me go out. Okay. Well. Let's see. Scaffolding. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. I'm betting he got in trouble for that, didn't he? He needs to go home. What? What is that about? What Indians? Let's see. Box. What's in here? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? I have no idea. That's kind of weird. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? His photos of her posing? What am I rewinding to? They say I learned information that... I mean, that means I learned information that could help me in a rewind, but... With what? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. I can see that Samuel's concerned. How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Is that everyone telling me that there's consequences? Or... I don't know. I don't get it. What are you telling me, game? I definitely won't play with this thing again. Yeah, it's not good to have that just laying out there, I guess. But... Okay, I don't really see anything else going on here. Make art, not war. Sure. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Could you? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, I missed a squirrel last time. I better not get near the bench, or the squirrel won't take the food. Okay. Come on, squirrel. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? There it is. Take a photo. Come on, Max. Do it. Before he runs away. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. There we go. Oh, that's the donut thing. I see. There's a totem. It's pretty far. Warren told me that totem is named Tobanga for a reason nobody knows. Sure, it's not Topanga? No. Any boy, boy Meets World fans here? Probably not. Bird. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early. Already commuting with the critters. Yeah. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. Okay. I'm going to have to ask you about Rachel, because... Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says, well, pry. Now everybody wants to know about her. Yeah, well... I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. Mystery. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I do. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. 
It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Doe? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Okay. So, That's what interesting. did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay, yeah, he works there. So. Another weird conversation with Samuel. Just like every time. Okay then. What is this? Oh, that's for the Shit. The window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. I think I was supposed One to take a picture thing of that. The course of that window's life. Yeah. I missed a few pictures from last time. Taylor. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Why? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. I'm not sure. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you can have. Bossy best friends? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Okay. I guess so. I don't see anything else interesting here, so I guess I'll move on. Ah, jeez. Okay, sure. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yes, check it out. Warren is out and about already too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Guess who? Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting? For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank yeah. you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Thanks, Warren. Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Yeah. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? <sighs> yeah. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Hmm. Well. 
Do you want to go or not? Should I go with Warren? Um... Sure, why not? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Uh oh, butterfly effect. This decision will impact my future, past and present. Take the bus. School's right here. Why do I need to take the bus? Or I okay, I guess David I'm going someplace. To Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or you, since they both kinda hate you. That cannot be a good thing. Those two talking to each other. Oh, I thought that was the bus driver, the, the dude with the hair. So, okay. Uh oh, here comes more music. Man. Game, I wish you wouldn't do this to me. So I know you guys aren't going to be able to hear this since it's probably going to be taken out, but it's not a bad song, I guess. How? Okay. They do have good music in this game, so you guys should totally play this yourselves if you can. I think the first episode's free. Or it used to be. I don't know if it still is. And there's the whole Black Friday thing going on, so. Yeah, I totally recommend getting this. It's actually kind of like it so far. Oh, yeah, we're looking at the White House in the background, I see. Are we going to the White House? No. Where are we going? Somewhere in town? Oh, right. Duh. We're meeting Chloe for lunch. Breakfast. Whatever. Right. Totally forgot we're meeting Chloe. Wow. Gas is 407. Don't try to take Expensive. It. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. All right. Well, the game just saved, so I think this is probably a good time to quit for now. So, what do you guys think of it so far? It's a lot of messed up stuff going on. But, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being cool, and I'll see you next time.